made a corral getting some breakfast. This is about a four dollar meal. I'm gonna have the coffee and the fish and half the toast. Oh, I want a toast too! Okay, you can have some toast too. How many guys? That is beautiful. How many guys? Very narcissistic, this one. If you don't speak Cantonese, she's saying, I'm very beautiful, basically. That's a beautiful place. Let's mow down this food, huh? <laughs> he just tears it out my hand. A little biking. Try to see me when they close my eyes. Wow, you did it! Amazing! Stab me with that fork and it's gonna hurt. No, you need to close your eyes. You better, you better feed it to me. Thank you. That was a leap of faith. We are done making our food. Gotta finish this coffee and then we're gonna go play some basketball. Yeah. Yeah. Ready to go? Put your backpack on. Get your backpack on. Get your backpack on. Okay. I turned off the video too early. We were being silly on the escalator, yeah. sitting down, and I fell, and I nearly got cut in half by it. I nearly sheared my butt off. Ugh, that was risky. So dangerous. So stupid. Okay, this time we're not gonna mess around on the escalator, right? Yeah. We don't want to get solid in half. Yeah. yeah. Don't sit down on the escalator. Last time he fell over. Yeah. And I just got hurt. Yeah. yeah. So oh, I will show him to stop recording. It's like two seconds before that happened. It would been hilarious. I can smell that hog and dogs behind me. Oh my god. Every cop in Hong Kong is on this corner right here. Funny, the cops in Hong Kong don't seem to do too much. Jaywalked in front of them. They didn't even look at me, really. Hi, excuse me, sir. No, thank you. Let's try something. You just gotta be stone cold. So many tailors in TSC, and I know them all by face, and they still offer me suits. Do I look like a man who wears suits? No. I wear t-shirts, basketball shorts, and basketball shoes, but I do not need a suit for anything. It's too much paper! It's enough 7-Eleven! Ice cream? Come on, we, Come can, on. we can get an ice cream in here. Come on. We can get an ice cream here. What's that mean? Go to 7 Eleven? Yeah. I don't know why I listened to that. See the one you like? So pumped up to hike, I'll give her an ice cream. It's about a 15 minute walk to get to the basketball court. It's just easier to give her an ice cream. Eat it nice and quiet, but watch. The moment she's done eating it, she's gonna probably lose her mind. How tired her legs are, how cold she is. Man, it's like 85 degrees outside. It's starting to burn, I need to get sunscreen on. 
hospital's gonna complain that it's cold. I'll try to catch it on video to prove myself right. Does dad get a bite? Where's my bite? <laughs> Thank you. I don't think I had any ice cream though because you took the last bite. How bad are you? Are you gonna have some ice cream? Because I didn't want any ice cream. Why do we put our trash into the trash bin? Because if you put it on the rock, it'll go to the ocean and the sea animals will eat them, then they'll die. You just had your ice cream. It's so cold. You're what? Cold. You're what? It's so cold. Told ya. Do I know my daughter or what? I'm so shocked to hear that. What are you doing? Wow. I had no idea you could do that. Where'd you learn that? It's really hard for Are you okay? It's so hard. Need help up? No, I don't need help. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> Let's go to the basketball course, okay? Oh. Yes, this is my jam. Let's go. They just freshly redid these courts not too long ago. Looking beautiful. Look how green this is. Still squeaky. Let's play basketball. competition solid defense one hand up one hand down swiping at it blocking any shot kids gonna be on fire someday it's easier if you stand up okay go sit if you're done Nobby if you don't want to play and you don't want to practice go sit get off the court fun you're gonna get hurt being on the court like that now either get up and play or get off the court those are your options no you're not getting a show we're here to play basketball. If you don't want to play basketball, you can sit quietly on the side. You want to play or not? You do? Okay. Let me see your best dribbling skills then. Dribble a little harder. Yeah! Oh! Okay, go. Dribble. That's defense, baby. Whoo! Oh! She got the steal. Your turn. Go to the hoop. Dribble. You gotta dribble. And the shot. Oh, we worked hard at the court. 
uh, bounce passes, dribbling, defense, taking it to the hole. You can see that she is awesome at that. She's getting a little grumpy again. Hope oh, you can hear that. I'm so cold again. That's enough. She likes to chug when she knows that she's only supposed to have a sip. It's too much like me when I was a kid, destroying my mom's Diet Cokes. Oh God, why did she drink Diet Coke? How did I like that as a kid? Nasty. Diet Coke is what happens to battery acid when it gets old. Diet Coke is what happens to oil when it does too much cocaine. If you want to. Yay! Triple layer dress. I don't know why you always want to play basketball and hike and things like that. You need to dress more comfortably in some shorts and a t-shirt. Oh yeah, you got your basketball shoes on. The wrong feet. <laughs> just got done playing basketball both exhausted super hot out today Ugh, haven't been feeling so good the past few days but it's the first time I've exercised in like a week breath feels a little bit like I'm getting it back Ugh, I need help away from her butt lay down one toy one okay look at this Sometimes she likes to put on a show like this, pretend like she's really upset when she should just be laying down and relaxing. Look at the drama. <laughs> Lay down and relax, Abby. You're tired. You need to chill. It's time to chill. Do you want to watch Moana or Elsa or Paw Patrol? <laughs> Moana. What? Moana. What do you want to watch? Moana. I can't understand that voice. <laughs> I don't understand dog either. I need to hear polite girl voice. Now you have three seconds before you lose your options to even watching a show. Stop three. screaming and crying. I want Moana. Okay, give me a kiss. Thank you for saying sorry, sweetheart. The way that I get the three second countdown to work is because I'm serious about it. Auburn knows that if I count down to three and I get all the way to the bottom, there's going to be a consequence, right, Auburn? And so if I say you have three seconds to get on your polite behavior and lay down and relax, otherwise you're going to lose your options uh, before your nap time, Auburn knows that when I get down to zero, her options are gone and she's going to bed immediately. And she's not going to have any choices on what she does at that point. So, you know, she has her three seconds to make her choices, and her choices are generally something we can both agree on. <coughs> Which is would be like, so say that she wants to watch Paw Patrol before she takes a nap. She wants to watch an episode of it. So I'll give her options, and her options will be something like option number one. You can go straight to your nap without watching any show. Or option number two, you can lay down politely right now, and then you can watch a show. And then she has a choice between those two, and that gives her the power. And that's kind of why that works. But if she doesn't make her option, or she continues the behavior that's inappropriate, then we revert back to option one, which is lay down, and no show, and no options, no choices. And she knows that. She's lost toys because of this, she's lost books because of this. She's had enough negative consequences and enough positive consequences with the countdown sequence that it's now ingrained. And all I have to do is say, you have your three seconds to make your choices, and I just go three, two, and usually by that time she's already made the proper choice. You're getting really good at emotional regulation and understanding your own role in your choices, right? That's getting too philosophical for right now. Come on, lay down, let's watch some Paw Patrol. Yeah. Oh, she wants to watch Moana. Moana! Make way, make way! Okay, we just got done resting and had lunch, so now we're getting ready to go swimming. We're gonna go swimming today, and we're not gonna bring the floaty for the first time, okay? Okay. 
And the reason I want to do that is because you are big enough and strong enough now that you are able to swim. Okay, the only reason that you haven't been able to swim yet is just because you're afraid to one, put your head underwater, and two, you just don't think that you can swim, okay? Now we know you can float a little bit, right? Okay, all you have to do in water is paddle, paddle, paddle with your hands and your legs, and you'll be able to swim, okay? So we're gonna practice that today, so no more floaties, okay? No more floaties, you're gonna learn to swim. I'm done with floaties too. You ready to learn to swim proper? Yeah! Yep, you just gotta get over your fear of it, okay? That went a lot better than what I thought it would. I wanted to tell you something. Sure. You need to stop being so angry about it. Maybe when I'm screaming, you need to uh, tell me, go away, go away. I don't want you to be like this. The punch will do that. No, well, what I mean is that I'm not going to respond to you when you're screaming at me. I'll only respond to you when you're speaking to me politely. That's not me being angry with you or being rude. That's me setting boundaries. Oops. Daddy, I have so much toys. I see that. Are those toys to go to the pool? Yes. Let's get ready, okay? We gotta go to the pool. Let's go, go, go. Yes. I don't I don't swim? Yeah. You ready to swim without a floaty? Yeah. Yeah? You ready to practice floating? Yeah, I guess I Probably, uh, yeah, probably Auburn's, are you copying me? Yeah. <laughs> Just let me talk, or you can talk. I can talk also. Okay, go ahead. You want to tell us what happened? Yes. But I, when I was just swimming, but I fall into my water, but my dad caught me. But when I was lying on my back one time today, I was so nervous and oh, my eyes were closed and I went like, ah, over to the water. What she, I think, is trying to articulate is that today was the first day that she floated all on her own, totally unassisted, floating on her back. She was very calm. She held it for about three seconds and then she tensed up and sank a little bit. She also practiced swimming. What else did we do? We practiced going underwater. And you went all the way under and blew some bubbles. She made a lot of good milestones today. A lot of awesome accomplishments on this day. Yeah, and, I think, yeah, and I think it was also because we got rid of the floaty, right? And we realized we're strong enough to swim and buoyant enough to float. I have done something to talk about. Okay, go ahead. The video is not behind the video. Today we also got two of our goggles. My goggles are breaking now. I feel so much better after that swim. That was great. So glad these outdoor pools are opened up again. And I wish I could get some footage inside of the pool, but they highly frown upon people using their cameras and they're taking photos and taking video. I'll try to sneak in a quick video right here just to show you what it looks like. I don't think anybody's swimming right now. It's closed for this hour to get clean, so I think it'll be okay. Auburn did such a good job swimming that we decided to stop and get some ice cream as a reward. She got the standard vanilla cone she loves. And this one is sweet potato ice cream with an Oreo cone. And a little Oreo in it. But, and there's a cookie. Yeah, a little tiny Oreo cookie. Purple, you can't tell. And I have white. We're gonna go find a cool place to eat these. It's just too noisy right by the ice cream stand. We need to find a nice country living place to live again. Somewhere with fresh air. This is about as fresh as it gets in Hong Kong. We're in Kowloon Park right now. And there's quite a lot of trees and birds and you can smell the fresh air in here as compared to out on the street level. 
but it's still noisy. You know, even the uh, nicest parks in Hong Kong have a ton of noise in them when you're in the middle of a city like this. At the end of next school year, that's what we're thinking about. Finding somewhere else. Maybe Cambodia or India. You know, we'd love to go back to Thailand again, but it's just difficult there with the visas. You gotta make a run every three months. Kind of annoying. This is the second time I've had this ice cream. And it always tastes weird the first few licks, because it is very similar to the taste of sweet potato, except it's cold, very strange for ice cream. But once you start getting down to that cone, mix it with the chocolate, then it gets real good. This is what a holiday looks like in Hong Kong. Everybody's got the day off, so the parks are blowing up. It's so noisy. There's people dancing back here, pumping music. some dinner for tonight gonna cook these up two dollars 65 cents maybe uh, another dollar and a half I think for Americans we're very used to having like a big kitchen an oven multi-layered stoves all these different pots and pans etc um, in Hong Kong it's a little different I've never given you guys like a full tour of the place I'm not going to right now because it's dirty but we live in kind of a small place so one of the ways that we make up for the lack of space I'll show you with uh, my cooking method. So I have my fridge here in the corner steamer and the rice cooker on top and I can just cook everything in this steamer that includes chicken wings, uh, carrots, the green vegetables. You got it all ready to go the greens, the carrots, the chicken. Pick it up go this way. Mm -hmm. to there. And now we just wait. Uh, Yummy. Looks like it's almost done. Mmm, looks delicious. Certainly smells done. I'll give it a few more minutes just to make sure. This is how we're usually eating dinner. Yeah. Our has got carrots, some greens, and chicken. Bye, guys. Fun to you calling the video. But right now we are chicken wings. This is the bones. The greens are inside here. These greens are mine. This is how you learn to eat chicken wings in Hong Kong. They use chopsticks, and I guess it keeps your fingers clean. I don't know. Feel, stuff feels a little weird. I usually switch over to just going American style. Get your fingers all greasy. All they use the fork. Whatever. You just pick up habits as you travel around, you know? I use a fork because I don't know how to wear use chopsticks. Yeah, you know. Good I'm really proud of you, how you played basketball today, and... Your swimming skills were amazing. Now I know how to swim in by my, on my floating. Mm -hmm. Well, we're still learning how to swim, but you did a good job floating and practicing swimming. Yeah. But I can stand on the water. We're ready to go to sleep. We got a stack of books. I want to love my first. Uh, can I read this one to, to, to the camera? Uh, let's not read it to the camera. Instead, we're going to read it to ourselves because it's time for us to turn off all the lights and get ready for bed. So, if you enjoyed hanging out with us today and following us around Hong Kong, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video if you did, and please comment with where you're from. Yeah. And if you've ever been to Hong Kong, we would love to connect with you. Let's get you in the song, but do it. 
Let's read again and I'm working on it. What she said. <laughs> but I said I let's get together and working on this. But what did she say? I said, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel is not good at all. What? That's not good. It's a call to action. It's a call to action. It's not good. Oh, okay. Well, then we'll just say good night. I just tried something to tell the video. Okay, still going. Um, you know, um, the one book is Dry Summer Ice Cream. Yeah. The last book is Should I Go for a Drive? Yep. For Strawberries. Dying Lessons. Yep. What is this one? Oh no, gotta go. Where oh, is no. un baño? Oh no, gotta go. Where is un baño? <laughs> what is this thing? Hey, in that's it? a sticker book. That doesn't belong in the book street <laughs> that time. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> Can't read a sticker book. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah, crazy. Tomorrow do I have school? You do. Yeah. All right, we'll end on that. Yes, it's really me. It's Maui. Breathe it in. I know it's a lot, the hair and the fire. When you're staring at a demigod for the time, the sun, the sky. No matter where, it's okay, you're welcome. Just an ordinary demigod who stole you fire from down below. You're looking at him, yo. Oh, oh, you're welcome to feel your sails and shake your trees. Oh, okay, it's rest time and I'm done. Make way, make way, my one it's time you knew the village of Motanu is all you need. The dancers are practicing, they dance to an ancient song. I don't know what the old guys say right here. <laughs>